Bond and talks about his English class. Today I'm going to introduce you about where do babies in movies come from? Well, if you look in movies, there are some babies there. And then, where are these babies coming from? Well, of course, the, well, the movies, well, the cast them. And, well, there are laws that say, well, it's, well, hard for casting a baby under, well, the age of 14. However, and so in California, there are laws that say that babies can only do two hours of work. But in most states, it's all okay with that because some let five hours, five days a week or six hours, six days a week. And so, well, it's well fine to, well, cast the baby, but they have to be casted after, well, 15 years old. And so after, well, two weeks, as you know, they don't look like newborn, which the movie theaters want. So they usually cast preemies or, well, the twins and triplets. I'll explain you later. And there's also some states that do, well, the Coogan Law. Well, there was a boy named Coogan who was in The Kids and many of the movies of Charlie Chaplin. But because of his parents, well, well, everything, well, money he got from the movies went to their, well, parents and their, and his parents used them all. And then let's say about why do movie theaters like twins and triplets. First, let's say there's a twin and there's baby A and baby B. Well, they came at the same time. Then baby A became fussy. Then they get baby B into the cast. And they look similar, so it's fine. And so, that's also a great thing. And also, they still look newborn after, well, 15 years. They, well, uh, 15 days later. And so, well, that's all. That's where babies come from in movies. Okay, today I introduced you about where babies come in movies. And next time I'll come with a different topic. Bye-bye and see you next time.